Crypto custody software provider Fireblocks helps investors as well as institutions like BNY Mellon, BNP Paribas, and eToro hold cryptocurrency securely. We're going to find out exactly how, straight from the CEO, on this episode of Taking Stock. What we do, we basically provide institutional infrastructure for financial uh, institutions uh, and also like other corporates that work with digital assets and cryptocurrencies. Mm -hmm. So we do basically the entire backend for them of a treasury management platform, wallets, secure wallets, custody, and the ability to transfer assets between different counterparties. And lastly, we also helping them to tokenize different assets on the, on the blockchain. And what would you say sets you apart from your competitors? The fact that we really have this um, capability to deliver the platform in both ease of use and highly sophisticated security. That is actually being matched with performance that allows them to scale to millions of wallets. So we're currently enabling about 200 million wallets on our platform. So Fireblocks just recently expanded its DeFi security capabilities. Talk to me about that and the significance behind it. We are definitely trying to layer in all the security mechanisms that institutions need in order to operate securely within the DeFi space and take advantage of the technology without putting the funds at risk. So some of the things that we've been doing over there is uh, introducing new policies, new approval flows, new capabilities for uh, having an institutional guardrails when you interact with decentralized finance. We're also creating a new uh, scanning capabilities that allow our clients to understand if they're going to interact with a, um, a bad actor or basically with a protocol that is currently compromised and basically prevent them from accessing those protocols before they are putting their funds at risk. Can you describe how you see the future of digital asset custody and transaction infrastructure moving? Like, where do you see the upcoming evolving trends in this space? So I think what we are actually seeing is a lot of the adoption happening um, in the mass market, in retail. So we've been seeing a lot of consumer adoption uh, happening, and therefore a lot of the neo banks and the banks and the retail banks, uh, they have to allow access for retail and for uh, those type of investors to come in. Um, a lot of what we are trying to, see, to, to foster over there is security. Um, so multi-party computation, technology that Fireblocks developed is really helpful to make sure that there is no single point of compromise. And uh, we're also seeing some advancement in what we call smart wallets that really remove the complexity from how users are interacting with blockchain. Well, thank you so much for joining me today on Taking Stock. Thank you so much.